hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial so today i am going to make a fishing t-shirt design obviously as you can see here but in this one i will be showing you guys some 3d text effect so first of all is i needed a text so this is how this is the text i was searching but you can take any text but here for making a 3d effect I am taking this text because here I can focus on these two text. So this two will be my focus text, and then these will be the supporting text. And I will need some fish vector. So this is the fish vector I am going to use. This is from FreePick, and you can just download any fish vector from there to work with. Now you can see here is some. There are some white in the design. I don't need that. I only want the black part of the design. So let's first of all take our magic one tool by pressing Y and if I click on this white area it will be selected let's delete. So you can see this is just it just remaining the black part only and then I can simply make it complete black. Okay so this is my fish and then I will be using this text. So for making a design like this or the effect that I am going to create here. I will need some bold looking font so that's why I will be using maybe this poster gothic this is a really cool font I have many design on this font anyway so this is how it is going to look so I am going to create a area here this is the top part this is the bottom part and then this fish in something like this area that is cool so let's break this text I don't need them to act like a font anymore so this one I will be making a bit bigger in size that is fine and then this one I'll just break it I'm just going to keep it same size white everything will be similar just like this that is fine let's break it and then I can make it same size bigger as the therapy text here so that is fine now here is a smaller font a smaller text I can make this one that much smaller too but that will make it too small I don't want that so this is how it is going to look and this therapy and fishing I needed them in bigger size because the effect that I am going to click make here it will it will take it will need some bigger fonts so that's the reason let's keep it there so first of all is I am going to create a area for my that fish graphic I just don't want to place it exactly how it is right now I want to do some fun with that so let's create an ellipse here just like this don't worry and then press shift X so shift X will make it bigger so this is how it is looking maybe a bit more bigger and then I will create an offset path for this stroke I am pressing alt control F that is my shortcut for offset path but you can make your own shortcut so maybe something like this that is cool and then another offset path exactly similar so this is how it is going to look right now that is fine now i will need to make a copy of this center ellipse so i'm going to control c control b that means copy paste in back that is good and for this one here let's change the color so that we can see so this is the red ellipse let's for now i'm going to lock that one and then i'm going to hide that one so that is exactly here but i cannot see it right now that is cool and for this area i wanted to place some star so create let's create a star here but not in a stroke mode in fill mode that is good then i'm going to create a copy of that star by pressing alt and drag then select this two then go to object blend and make it is going to make a blend like this now selecting this blend and then this one I can simply go to object blend and then replace spine so replace spine will replace that blend in that stroke or that ellipse but that is too much of them and you can see it is not completely covering the whole area so for fixing that I need to select this star blend and then I need to Take this scissor tool. You can press C on your keyboard and then click on any anchor point. You can see there are many anchor points in this one. On here, one here, on here. You can just click on any anchor point and it is going to just distribute everything in this like this, simply like this. That is fine. And now I need to 
decrease the amount of stir so click on this blend tool blend options here and then i'm going to change it to a specified steps that is fine here is now 36 so basically it's 38 step here because the starting and end doesn't count here so here is a start point and the end point and then in between there is 36 step so i need to make it smaller so i just want to keep maybe three star on top and then three on bottom maybe this three will work for me that is good click ok and then you can see this is how it is looking so i'm not going to expand everything right now i can hide them and how to hide that i'm going to select this star blend open transparency and then i'm going to select black fill here and then i'm taking my pencil tool by pressing n on my keyboard and simply i can hide this area if i draw a shape like this in black fill it is going to hide everything on that area you can see so i can simply delete this whenever i want and it will bring my stars back but for now it is looking like this let's click here so maybe there is a problem i need to fix it something like this okay maybe this time it is looking perfectly centered that is good one more thing that i will do here is i am going to create a a stroke like this not in fill in a stroke maybe 10 point size and then i will need to i'll change the stroke mode to this one okay that is fine let's bring a copy here by pressing alt and drag then press ctrl d something like this these copies will work for me now i need to break them that is fine let's unite them so that it becomes single object like this so there are a space between these strokes so that's why it is not acting like a one single object but don't worry so this is a shape i want to create a custom brush just like this art brush new and then click ok so that is fine let's delete i have my brush here so this time i am going to bring in my this ellipse here this one that i locked here so i need to change some point here like in a original ellipse there are four points like this i need to increase the point so i am going to press plus on my keyboard or you can simply go to this one add anchor point tool and then here you can see i need to create a point here and then same size in similar like this then another one here maybe then another one here so that is fine now i need to double click on this ellipse so that i can okay so that is selecting my star ellipse you can see whatever is getting selected you can see that here i don't want that i need to select this red ellipse so i can simply do that from my layer panel and now you can see the red ellipse is selected let's right click on it and then isolate selected path so this is how it is looking right now i am going to select my direct selection tool to select some of these anchor points and delete so something like this okay that is fine let's delete on from here maybe this one and this one too okay so i think that's good don't worry so i'm going to select these two ellipse these two strokes and then apply this brush maybe i'll need to make it a bit bigger in size so this is how it is looking right now and you can see this is the shape that i wanted to create here that is fine let's group it now i want to place my fish inside this area so something like this but in a bit smaller size because i don't want to fill it completely so this should be a group together so maybe i made them a group yeah that is a group so if i bring my fish here now i can select them and then i can simply distribute their space align them with the center position sometimes it doesn't look like center so i need to do a modification manually just like this don't worry so here i want to do like this fish will be on top of this area but in this area this ellipse will be on top so selecting the fish creating an offset path so making a meter offset path sometime makes it make some these sharp corners you can see i don't need that so i am going to change it to round and round will fix that problem but you can see 60 point is too much bigger let's make it 10 point and maybe that much is fine 
let's click ok that is good now i need to merge unite to become make to make it a complete one single color shape but do not click anywhere else just press ctrl x to cut it that is fine now i need to select this ellipse you can see what is selecting getting selected here and then open transparency double click and then click on this clip so we are inside the transparency now and now press ctrl f so ctrl f will place that exact shape here and you can see this is how my face is on top of that shape that is good, totally good but in this area i wanted to keep this ellipse on top so whatever is placing here i need to erase them i'm pressing shift e for eraser tool to erase like this i don't need this area and don't worry however it is looking right now click here so this is how it is looking i need to now hide this part of the fish so let's okay let me select this one this one this ellipse i want to expand it i don't need that to act like a, a stroke anymore let's create an offset path for that same size offset path click ok and cut that is good now i need to select my fish and then open transparency for fish and then press ctrl f here so this is how it is looking and you can see this area is looking a bit odd and i don't need that area i only need to hide this part of the fish so whatever is going outside of that area i need to just erase them so simply erase it like this and from here i need to erase it to that is good so you can see this is how it is looking and if i take my pencil tool with black fill make sure your fill color is black and then if i draw a shape like this it is going to hide that part of the fish here you can see this is how i can simply make it so this is how it is looking there is one more problem that this star i place them three of them here but that is not visible only this small parts is visible i don't need that so let's select this star blend and inside the transparency i can simply draw another shape here that will hide that part don't worry how it is looking right now we can take care of that later so everything looks good let's group it that is good i need to place it something like in this area and then maybe make it a bit bigger because my that therapy text or everything that is a bit more bigger so that is good let's place it like this and here i need to make this therapy text like being curved like the shape here so let's i'm going to make it a bit longer here and then same size longer here but not like this i need to do it in a different way that is i am going to select my direct selection tool to select this part then bring that five times down same thing here so maybe this one i will bring two times or three times down that is good this one three times and then this one one time so something like this don't worry however it is looking right now we will take care of that so this is how it is looking right now i need to now apply effect that is called effect wrap and then arc lower but not arc lower in this direction i need to go negative direction so minus 10 to 20 percent that is good and this is how it is going to look here and that much is good let's increase the effect a little bit more okay maybe minus 20 percent looks good let's go to object and expand appearance to expand everything so this is how it is looking right now i am going to place it something like this and i need to create that 3d effect so i'm need i am going to change the color so that you can understand whatever is going on here so this red color is my original shape let me create an offset path for that okay not round this time i will make it meter because you can see the corner of my text is hard so i want to keep that hard corner so this is how it is looking let's click ok and now i need to change the color so that you can see i am not clicking anywhere else so let's unite that that is fine just cut it and then press ctrl b so ctrl b will place that in the background in the back so you can see now i can simply select my both red one and the blue one that is fine now i am going to select this blue shape here in the background 
then copy control c and then control b just to make another copy of that now i have two blue copy if you can see here this is a blue one this is a blue one anyway so let's bring that one a bit down on or two times down but i want to make it a bit smaller in size smaller than the original text and then a bit more down so something like this this is how it is looking i can change the color here too so that you can see it well so here is three shape one is this orange one this blue one and the red one so let's change the color to blue again so i need to select this blue and this blue these two i need to select here then i am going to go to object blend and then make and it is going to make a blend here you can see it is blending it like making a, another shape in this middle but i can change that with blend option let's change it specified steps and if i increase the steps here if i turn on the preview you can see if i increase the steps it is going to make it is make it smooth like the amount i will increase here that will make it smooth and it will fill so something like that let's type in 150 here and click ok so here i have on 50 shape small shapes that is making this a small blend you can see so that is good to go but this is this blend is an effect so i need to expand it whenever i'm applying an effect i need to expand it so let's expand it like this and here you can see it is showing all the small parts that we created but if we keep it like this it will become a heavy file i don't need want that so simply i can do is i can simply unite so uniting them will make them one single shape it can take some time depending on your computer configuration and that's 150 shape is really a big amount okay so as you can see now they become one single shape i can simply move them around anyway so this is how you can make that 3d shape but this shape is not what I wanted. I wanted to keep that gap there. Then I am going to select this shape, this black shape here, and create an offset path for that in 10 to 20 pixel size, doesn't matter. And then click OK. And that one I want to unite. That is united already, but I can I want to make it in a stroke, just like this, not in fill color then i can make the stroke look like this so this is how it is going to look right now or i can do simply delete that one just select this shape fill shape and then make it a stroke so this is how it is going to look but that is too close to each other so this is how it is going to look with that exact shape that i placed in the background that is fine and now i need to make it a bit bigger because yeah that much is good let's select it so now i don't need this black shape here let's delete that it is going to give that it is going to already give me that 3d look here but okay let's keep that for now so that we can see what is going on here so that is how it is looking and then i just need to go fishing i just need to place it something like in this area that is good and for this one i need to apply that same effect so let's do that again and i'm going to change the text first of all is going to now this time i'm not going to apply arc lower i'm going to apply arc upper so that will take that exact minus 20 percent size and it will look become like this let's make it a bit bigger that is good let's expand it now again here i'm going to create offset path for that not 20 percent 10 pixel and that is also good let's change the color to black cut just in back then i'm going to copy that shape again ctrl c ctrl b and this time i will bring that up like this but in a smaller size that is good now let's select this to shape make the blend and then i'm going to change the shapes to 150 shape then click ok so this is how it is going to look right now don't worry let's just expand everything and this is how it is looking let's unite them okay so this is how it is looking right now after 
that become one single shape let's make a another offset path of that in 20 pixel size that is fine and then i need to make it unite then if i pick eyedropper and click here it is going to take that same stroke size so you can see this is how it is looking let's let's it something like that don't worry i can simply align it with the artboard there and this is how it is looking so i need to place my this text here i just need to go to fishing i just need to go okay there is a mistake i made here i just need to go fishing so let me do that part again anyway change it to poster gothic that is fine and this one here i can simply match it with the arc of that shape that is totally cool or let's not do that i have another idea so i can simply place that text here okay so for doing that i will select this shape here this one okay maybe i'll just delete this star shape that's not a good idea right now so let's create a offset path for that ellipse but inside like this that is good in that area that is fine so i'm going to select this one cut it paste it in the front so ctrl f and then i need to select this text okay so maybe i will just delete that part too okay guys this is a waste of time but i hope you learn that style how to do that and that is good so this is the ellipse let's take type on path tool and click here paste that text don't worry and then change the baseline to center that is also good then i can simply make it bigger but i need to increase the size of the text that is good i just need to go fishing so this one i can keep it keep like this okay so this is how it is looking right now don't worry and for this area i will apply that same effect here so pressing ctrl f again okay sorry not ctrl f so i need to select this ellipse here and then i will just create offset path same size in here that is good and then i am going to okay you can see there is anchor point here that is looking good so let's select this anchor point and delete then again select this one delete that is good to go okay so this is just uh, time taking work anyway so don't worry this is the shape i wanted these two i can apply this brush on them but a bit small bigger in size that is good don't worry so i just need to go fishing okay so this is how it is looking right now and then i need to change the color of my design the rest of the design so that part is done let's select everything in the middle and then expand everything i don't need anything to be a stroke or text here so expand it again it will all become fill shape so that is fine maybe i'll just overlap it a little bit okay not like that before that i need to make them a group so that i don't lose their position a group here too then select everything and it is going to align in the center position i need to create offset path and i want to select this shape only this ellipse and then create offset path for that 10 to 20 pixel size that is good cut it now i need to select this group 
open transparency press ctrl f it is going to make this area here and that is fine for me and now again selecting this group and then paste it here so that is the effect that i wanted to create just to keep my that face part on top and then let's add some coloring to my design not a very detailed color just a simple one color design so i am going to take a rectangle here make that red color send to the back then i am going to select this fish and my this rectangle press shift m and then press alt to delete the extra part that is going outside of the area that is fine now you can see there is a problem this part is not looking very good and for fixing that if i select my this fish shape inside that fish shape i will okay no i don't need to do that let's select this red shape cut it and select this fish group where you can simply select a small parts of the fish you can see i can select this small parts and here i need to make press ctrl b it is going to place that exact red shape in the in the background of everything that is fine if i double click here to isolate you can see that effect is automatically going to apply on that text and that is fine so for this shape here this one okay i need to expand them too because they are acting as a they are acting as a stroke so i need to make them fill that is good and then exactly same thing here i need to expand this stroke and then make that fill color so this is how it is looking let's select everything from here i'm going to change the color to that one so this is how it is looking okay so for seeing how it is looking let's press a shape place the shape in the background let's make the, that black so you can see this is how it is looking right now and i think there this part is looking good except this is small red we can see here so let's fix it i am going to select this therapy text inside the transparency i need to just hide this small part and this is going to look good that is fine now again selecting this part this fishing text part inside the transparency i will make i will draw some extra shape here just to hide this part and it is going to look good so when we have a black background we can simply delete this black that is not necessary right now and if i delete that it is going to give me that exact same look just like this let me show you okay so that becomes a group let's ungroup them so that i can select the black okay maybe i can simply select them and delete like this so you can see this is how it is going to give me that 3d look and that is fine on problem here is that this text and this text they both got some off offset path so let's make a offset path for this text and it will look similar so not 20 pixel just 10 pixel offset path make it unite and then stroke just like this i don't need them to be like a, a stroke so let's make it fill color and you can see this is how it is looking but that is in my opinion looking too busy there i don't need that so let's decrease the stroke size okay let's not use that okay so i just i just don't want to make that over saturated there not like that so this is how it is looking right now we can simply add some more effect here something like placing something in the background let me show you so here is a half tone texture i'm going to take it from free pick and this one is really free so you can use it in your design don't worry so this is how it is this is how you will get the file if i right click on it i will be able to ungroup it then right click to release clipping mask and this is how you are going to get the original Hapton file this is the file let's copy this and then place it here but i want to make it this color red and then i want to just place it in this area but let's do one thing that is there are many tons of small details i don't need them 
that will just make it a extra long design i don't need that so something like this in this area that is good and then one of course here i'm going to reflect the file just to fill in that area then another one here maybe on here in a smaller size okay so just like this don't worry i'm going to reflect it here so this is how it is looking this is a bit looking a bit busy but don't worry i can simply select this two this one okay not that one this one and this one so this is the four okay here is one more so this is the four that okay not this one this is the four haplon texture that i'm using i just need to make sure that they are not going outside of my design area because that is not really necessary so i'm making sure it is inside the design area and that is good to go and when when it is placed like this let's make it a group so a group will look good now it is looking like this and not very good so for fixing that i am going to select my this shape so this two rectangle that you can see this two ellipse i need to just make a offset path for them 10 pixel looks good let's cut it and then i will need to select this group this group and then open transparency and press ctrl f here and here i will make it march unite so merge unit is making it look like this because it's a red color here if i make it black it is going to hide everything so you can see now my text and the that part is completely visible no nothing to worry and here is a little problem that it is coming inside this text area and i can simply take my pencil tool to fix this you can see this is how this is really easy and here is the same problem let's not use it okay so this is how it is looking and it is looking good in my opinion one more problem here that is for this one whatever we placed in this area this is not looking very good so for fixing this i need to create a if i select this shape i need to create an offset path for my fish only the fish nothing else so if i select it like this or maybe i can select this red color from here this one then i am going to create a offset path for that one press ok and cut that is good now select this shape and then open transparency and press ctrl f and this is how it is going to hide but make it all black so that is good now here is a little problem that that texture is coming inside this area let's hide this from here also from here and we are good to go okay guys so this is how it is going to look this is the final design for today's video and of course when we are making a design like this we need to apply some grunge texture i will do that in my final file but you can see here one more thing that i can do if i change the color here the background color this is how it is going to look so in this one it will look like there is no need to keep that black it will already give that 3d effect so on a darker background it is going to look like this so one more problem here you can see that is if i change the color here like let's make this green so there is only red but this black here so i don't need that black so for fixing that problem here i am just going to select this fish group this fish one here and keep selecting until you go to the where you can select this red so this is the red part i am going to create a little offset path okay no need to create offset path let's select this fish or just select that with magic wand cut it now select this shape open transparency and then press ctrl f so that fish is now inside that area and then click here and you can see this is how it is going to look so only one color design that is perfectly fine and it is not looking very good but let me show you here so it is going to give that exact look with only one color and then simply i can select everything from here make them a group make sure there is no stroke only fill i can simply change the color with one click isn't that cool 
you can make it any color design with just one click so that's it for today's video guys i hope you learned something new from this one and thank you for watching my videos let me know in the comment section if you have any questions i'll try to answer them thank you for watching see you in the next video guys have a great time